this ever happened to you? You wrap the garbage from your sink into a handy piece of newspaper. It makes a soggy package, but, well, you'll make it. At least you hope you will. And then, all over a nice, clean kitchen. Exasperating, isn't it? Living would be easier, and your work in the kitchen a lot less messy if you never had to worry about a garbage can or a garbage collection. Wouldn't it be fun to never have to wrap a bit of garbage, never have to do anything to get rid of garbage, except to twist the top like this? And another thing about a General Electric Super Grind Disposal, this wonderful appliance is completely out of your way virtually invisible until you're ready to use it. And now let's take a look at a cutaway photo of the model we see here. This is what the inside's like. Here's the twist top. It serves as the on and off switch too. The two quart capacity hopper, the shredding ring, the flywheel, and the impellers. And here's how all these look in the actual disposal unit. Under the hopper being removed now is the shredding area of the disposal. And in the heart of this shredding area is a stainless steel flywheel. As this flywheel rotates more than 1,750 times a minute, it acts to force food waste into the shredding ring. Here in the ring, food waste is reduced to the tiniest of particles by the carboloy cutter. Made of the hardest steel known to man, this cutter grinds any type of waste with ease and means long life for your disposal, too. These are the two impellers that hold food wastes against the shredding ring until waste is ground finely enough to be washed down the drain. And watch this. If a bone or other type of really coarse particle should try to jam the unit, the jam-resistant impellers back away and rotate to clear the jam. This is the fruit flipper. Located off-center on the flywheel, it tumbles articles like grapefruit rinds over and over within grinding reach of the shredder ring. These are the shredder ring openings through which once all of it has been finely ground, food waste is carried by centrifugal action to be washed down the drain by the running water. Here are slow motion scenes of how a General Electric Super Grind Disposal works. See how it's cutting these grapefruit halves down to size and never giving them a chance to escape from the cutting action of the carboloy cutter. And here's how coarse particles like corn cobs Get the works inside a General Electric Disposal. In almost less time than it takes to tell you about it, they'll be whittled down to corn kernel size or smaller and given a one-way ticket down the drain. The ease with which you can dispose of food wastes like corn cobs and watermelon, grapefruit, and other rinds is one of the greatest joys of owning a General Electric Disposal. Think this bone can stop a General Electric disposal? Remember what I told you about that carboloy cutter. The bone doesn't have a chance. And remember, too, what happened when that other bone tried to jam a disposal. The jam-resistant impellers outfoxed it. They'll do the same thing here. That's life with a General Electric Disposal under your sink. You simply twist the top and your garbage worries are over. General Electric Disposals require a minimum of attention. Cost less to operate than an electric clock. Will even work on a septic tank. There's a model to exactly fit your needs. Yes, goodbye to garbage.
That's what this happy woman might be saying about her new General Electric Disposal, one of many great appliances for a more gracious way of living brought to you by General Electric.